I want to show you what I was like before I started TMS. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I was just like Blossom. <laughs> but now, I'm less aggressive. <laughs> uh, okay, that's why you don't have videos every day this week. I did film this morning and it was pathetic. I'll show you, here. Pajamas. Oh man, woof. It's been a week. It's been a, yeah, I feel like a, I'm a disaster. <sighs> hey everyone, it's Destiny here with Francois. Today, we are going to tell you about the completion of my fourth week of TMS. If you're new to my channel, my name is Destiny Mermegan. I love cats and I play the violin. Whoopsie! Ow, that's my leg. It's not a scratching post. <sighs> okay. My cats always hijack my videos, right, buddy? Yeah. I struggle with mental health issues and I talk about them because I think the more talking we do about these things, the better off we will all be. And I have struggled with depression, anxiety, PTSD for years and years and years. I've tried several medications. Nothing has been able to shake my depression. And I'm going to tell you about this treatment that I'm doing that is actually helping. And I've been documenting every day, except this week I kind of missed a couple days. It was a rough week. Uh, but I'm telling you all about this treatment, transcranial magnetic stimulation. It's something I'm really excited about. It's working wonderfully for me. Hopefully it would work for you if you would consider it. Everyone's different. Uh, it has a really high success rate. I've read, I, I, I'll post this study from a previous video, 90% success rate. That's crazy. It's FDA approved. Other success rates have been 70 to 80%. Those successes, getting rid of your depression symptoms. Wonderful. Before I get into all this, I just did, I would love it if you would subscribe because if you do, YouTube notices this content and pushes it out there in search results. So when people are searching anything about depression or if they're struggling or feeling alone, my happy little face will pop up and then they'll find out lots of really good information that will hopefully make them feel better. That's my goal is to really help people. So your subscription actually will help me do that. Thank you. Okay, TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation. They say it's great for treatment resistant depression. What does that mean? <clears throat> depression that you've tried to treat and it resists. <laughs> I've tried so many medications that haven't worked for years and I've been to therapy. I'm still in therapy. I love therapy. Highly recommend it. A lot of times with depression, it's situational for people and other times it's chemical. Other times it's both. For me, it was both and I addressed those situational things and I made good choices and here I am today. I was still struggling with depression and that part of it is chemical. It's like if you have genetic high blood pressure, you have to take a pill for it. There's nothing else you can do. I mean, yes, you work out, you eat right, you don't drink, you don't smoke, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still have to take a pill. That is chemical depression. Sometimes you can't do anything about it and that's okay. It's fine, we struggle. And that's where medication can come into play and be very helpful. And like I just said for me, it wasn't. So I, when I first heard about TMS, I was really scared because I didn't actually research it. And it just sounded like, oh my God, they're doing something to my brain. Scary. Actually, it's really no big deal. It's less magnetization going into a brain than when you go get an MRI. So yeah. How does TMS work? I've got a lot of videos up until this point explaining all about how TMS works. And I would love it if you would check them out. The very first one is the entire first session where they map out your brain. It's really cool. I'll link to it at the end. But for this video, I just wanna do a quick summary of everything we've learned so far in honor of the halfway point. And I have cat hair on my face, my nose. Eh. Okay, <laughs> TMS works, gosh darn it. Okay. TMS works by stimulating neural pathways in the part of your brain where depression resides. And in a previous video, I put up a picture and I'll do that right now. Let's put up this picture. So you see a brain, a depressed brain. There's not much activity. It's dark. This is before TMS. And then the brain after TMS and there's activity, there's light. And so that's what TMS does. It gently stimulates your neural pathways and enlivens them. This is my non-scientific description. Is there a neuroscientist that I can do a video with who can really explain the nitty gritty? That would be awesome. Okay. So it stimulates them. They're alive and they're awake. This process takes time. Creating habits, new habits takes time. 
creating new neural pathways takes time. And so for every one out of four patients, they will experience the TMS dip, which I have a video on, which I am experiencing, but I'm coming out of it. But this week, woof. That's why you don't have videos every day this week. I did film this morning and it was pathetic. I'll show you here. Hello, good morning. I know I've not been filming all my mornings this week. Sorry, but I'll, I'll get back to it. It was a challenging week. Look, you can get TMS and just roll out of bed in your pajamas. See that? I'm in my pajamas. What kind of treatment can you get? Well, you roll out of bed in your pajamas. Oh man, woof. It's been a week. It's been a, yeah, I feel like a, I'm a disaster. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> the dip. Why does this happen? What I said before, the brain takes a long time to form these habits. That's why TMS is kind of a long treatment. It's six weeks, five days a week for 20 minutes, and then two taper weeks. It takes time for when these new neural pathways are getting stimulated, the ones that are making you feel better, they have to keep getting stimulated for a while so that the brain remembers to do these things. Um, but sometimes, you know, as you're getting used to this treatment, your brain goes back to its old habits and you feel the way you felt before. But I will say, even though I've had the dip, it hasn't been as bad as I felt before. So overall, this has been really helpful for me. How has it been helpful? It doesn't magically solve all of my problems, although that would be nice. But what it does do is it makes my fuse longer. I had a very short fuse and would easily feel overwhelmed and frustrated. And in one of my videos, I was even considering quitting violin. I was just so desperate to figure out what was wrong and what was upsetting me. And I had this harebrained idea that quitting violin was my answer. Thank God I didn't do that because I love the violin and I just needed to get out of that chemical funk to actually see that the things that I love, I actually do love. So for me, it was this, this almost attitude shift of feeling like everything was coming in around me and I was collapsing in on myself to still being the same person and having the same things all around me, but being able to let them in and have them not bother me. It's amazing. That's what's happened for me. Like I said, everyone's different. Everyone responds to things differently, but this does have a high success rate. So I've been really grateful so far. Okay, so we've learned about the dip. I told you about the very first session. The other thing I learned that's new is that a lot of people stay on their antidepressants during TMS. This is because when you get your brain measured at the beginning of TMS, by measured, they, they find your motor threshold area that makes your thumb twitch, and then they locate the part of the brain where depression is from. You don't wanna drastically change that by going crazy with your medications. So that's why a lot of people just stay on them until the treatment's over, and then they wean off them. I am, however, choosing to wean off one of my medications. It was at a very low dose, and it was for fibromyalgia, and it's called gabapentin. My cats take it when they get nervous and they have to go to the vet. <laughs> I'm not really sure that it has actually helped with my chronic pain. I'm on a really low dose anyways, and I talked with my doctor to find out, yeah, if you go off it, it's not gonna affect anything. So I'm weaning off that because I know that depression and chronic pain can go hand in hand. And so I'm hopeful TMS will also help with that. We shall see. Ah, and then the other exciting thing we learned, <laughs> should you drink while on TMS? Well, you definitely shouldn't drink too much because you'll feel like crap. Uh, but if you are someone like me who has a glass of wine a night with dinner and did before TMS, you know, and you're okay, like it's not causing you depression, then there's no reason that you need to make a huge lifestyle change while on TMS. And the last thing is for the future. I have two more full weeks left of Monday through Friday, 20 minutes each. And then two taper weeks, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then a Tuesday, Thursday. And so I'm hoping now that I'm coming out of the dip and I'm on the other side, that I'm really going to start noticing some market improvement. I definitely feel better and I have more energy. I don't need as much sleep, which is crazy. With my heart condition, my dysautonomia, I mean, I would need 10 hours a night. I would sometimes sleep 12. It was like the worst because you sleep when you're dead. And I felt dead. And I only need like the normal eight and a half, eight. I know that's more than a lot of people get. I need that much, but it's been amazing so far. Like, I really hope that lasts. Okay, 
Finally, I wanna show you what I was like before I started TMS. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, cranky. Yeah, I was just like Blossom. <laughs> but now, I'm less aggressive. <laughs> uh, okay. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this has been helpful. I hope this little summary for you was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. I've got a few more sessions left and I can ask them for you. So I'm really excited to talk about this treatment and bring awareness to it. Yeah. So please help me help others. Final reminder, smash the subscribe button. <laughs> I stink at asking, <laughs> but it would still mean a lot. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.